Hi, we're headed to lunch with my wife, so let's see if I can record a video until we get there. We talked about giving and getting negative feedback, and I think that the, the reason why we don't want to get or give negative feedback is that we, we want to avoid discomfort. And I think we can get away with that. We can get away with just, you know, letting the situation go. We can, you know, just justify our action by telling ourselves, no, it wasn't, it wasn't a significant event. I can, just, uh, I can just let it go. But there will be times when, when it matters. There will be times when we have to stand up for ourselves. We have to defend our point of view. We have to persist in, in the face of setbacks. And avoiding discomfort actually makes us weak in the face of those challenges. We have to practice because if we don't practice in small situations, we won't be able to do the difficult things. It's like in sports, it's like a muscle. If you don't use a muscle, it will get weak in time. So what are the ways we can practice discomfort? Number one, very, very simple. When you take a shower at the end, do a cold shower for 30 seconds in the beginning and then maybe a minute later. I know it sounds very simple and it may sound weird, but what you learn, you learn that something is unpleasant, but bearable. You can take it. Number two, you can start a sport. For example, when, when I started boxing, I, I remember how unpleasant it was to get the first hit. I had never been hit in my life before, at least not, you know, intentionally. So I remember uh, the feeling of, oh, that hurt, that's not good. But also the feeling that it's bearable, it's manageable, I can take it. And also the, the feedback I got when I, when I started boxing was not very nice because I was not good at it. It was hard for me to understand what I needed to do. My movements were just uh, very uh, rigid. So the feedback was pretty tough and it was, it was, not, un, it was not pleasant for me to, to receive those negative comments. But I could uh, also tell myself after that, you know, I, I managed to do it. I can, I can take it. And I think I became stronger in the process. And finally, everyday life is full of situations where you can practice enduring discomfort. Like when you go to a restaurant, you get your soup and it's um, colder than you wanted it to be. You can practice sending it back. You don't want to be rude, but you can tell the waiter, could you please uh, warm it up for me? Or, you know, you can just uh, talk to a stranger on the street and ask them for recommendations for, you know, things to do in the city that you're in. Again, this will sound strange. You will feel strange. But the important thing is not to hurt anybody in the process. And I think you can get stronger with that. You can, you can be braver. And uh, I'd like to uh, close with uh, the saying of Brene Brown, a researcher of uh, shame and vulnerability, who said, at the end of each day, ask yourself, did I choose courage over comfort when I had the opportunity? So go out, do something which, which is unpleasant, and let me know how it went.